Okay, uh, we're here at Bethany Lakes. It's a uh, Saturday. Just got back from Oktoberfest over the McKinney. Had a great time, and now we got a quick uh, breakaway. See if we can do uh, that video that says how uh, we like fishing the bubble fly rig. And so what we have over here are three bubble fly rigs. All right, and the first one is going to be the one that we call the tough bubble, and we we'll use the beads on above and below the float. And we've got a uh, it's like a little gold rib hairs here nymphed on it. Next one will be the uh, torpedo float right here. And it has a little near deer. And then finally, we've got the adjust the bubble. And this one has a griff or a, yeah, a griffith snat on it. This is the adjust the bubble. All right, this is the one that we tend to use most because it's the easiest one to use. Uh, so with that, uh, let's go and show you how we, uh, how we fish these rigs. Okay, so uh, first up is the uh, tough bubble rig with that gold rib hair zero nymph. And just to show you what we like about the tough bubble rig is the ability to adjust the uh, length below the indicator or below the tough bubble by either moving these beads up like this. You see how it moves up and then do the same here. Okay, so you can just kind of move these beads up and down as neat. In this case, we've got a shock leader that we've attached. So that is a little bit more flexibility in um, uh, how much we can take on that leader. So go ahead and just go ahead and bring it down right about here this time. That'll give us about, I think it's like about three, four feet of line. And we'll go ahead and give it a shot. In this case, uh, you can, all three cases, you can fish them the same way which is uh, you can cast it out and you'll let it just kind of drift along or you can twitch it or you can do a steady rig. So this one we're just going to do a really slow drift dragging the line or the bubble float along with the fly really slow. We can feel that or we can see that uh, it's little guys, little bluegill hitting it or what we think are little bluegill and they're just barely taking the fly. All right, got a little uh, bluegill on the uh, tough bubble. Again, this is that one where we put a shock leader on and where we have these beads that are adjustable to give us more uh, depth. In this case, it's about maybe two and a half feet of um, depth and we were able to catch this guy. <clears throat> All right, so that was the tough bubble. In this case, it uh, went with a slow, steady drift, very slow drift, um, but bottom line, uh, he went for it. Next up, we're gonna use the torpedo float. And right here, this is the torpedo float. And we'll have a near deer underneath it. The thing about this one is it's a set length, so if we wanna give more line, we're gonna have to add or um, remove, cut the length to get the uh, tippet end going. And then we've got the other piece here connected. So uh, the adjustability on this one is you have to basically uh, retie, untie, cut, and whatnot, and get your uh, fly on there to the length that you want. All right, so let's give it a shot. In the case of the torpedo float, um, you're not able to adjust the weight. There's no bobber stop in there to uh, uh, allow you to uh, change the uh, weight and, or the weight of the bobber and make it heavier. In this case, when we normally fish the uh, near deer or some kind of streamer, we'll do a steady retrieve or a twitch. And the commotion on top, as well as uh, the near deer itself, the efficient fly, usually get a hit or two. All right, something hit it on that pop and go retrieve. Oh, a little bass, a little bass. All right, uh, okay, so this was on the near deer. This was on a. Uh, a near deer with that torpedo float again. This is the one where if you want to change your fly, you're gonna to have to uh, untie, retie. There's a little little bass on that little olive near deer. Okay, so uh, what worked on that one? It was uh, basically the uh, stop and go retrieve, uh, twitching the uh, bubble to give it some commotion, 
and then uh, he hit it as it uh, was being retrieved. All right, fun stuff. So uh, again, how we like to fish a bubble fly rig with the uh, allowing us to fish fishing flies without fly rod. We'll go ahead and uh, switch over to that adjust the bubble. Okay, next one up is the adjust the bubble. What's so nice about this one is, is uh, you can pull the stopper right here, twist it, you can add more water to it. Uh, just like the tough bubble, but this one you can um, just run your line through and go ahead and just start fishing. You can just move it up and down as need be. Uh, additionally, if you're worried about uh, some larger fish, you can make that shock leader. So you add that shock leader to this and then you just um, tie your fishing leader and tip it to it. And to this one, we're gonna use a Griffiths gnat, see if we can get something on the top on a dry fly. If not, we'll switch over that near deer and try it again. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and adjust it and give it more line. All we did was un undo it, untwist it, and then go ahead and twist it again. Get it back in place, and there it is. It's nice and secure. Added about another foot of line to it. Let's go over here where the shallow area is, and let's see if we get something to hit over here. Something chasing something in the shallows. hit okay just took it and slurped it just under cool beans little bluegill on that uh, dry fly griffith snap okay that's how we uh, fish a bubble fly rig start out with the torpedo float or tough bubble float over there and then we have the torpedo float and finally the adjust the bubble and this is the one that we tend to use the most, uh, mainly because it's the easiest one to make adjustments to because you can just uh, untwist the rubber stopper and move it up and down, add water as well. Uh, similar to the tuck bubble, uh, you can add water to that, but again, you don't have that uh, flexibility uh, or ease of use uh, when you use the tough bubble. All right, so next time we'll catch y'all later and good luck and good fishing.